Alright, I think that's everything we can do on this floor at the moment. At least as Banjo and Kazooie. So what we're gonna do now is pay Hoomba Woomba a visit. Yep, I'll give you the globo. This time we transform into a washing machine. Okay then. Wumba call this washer. Use control stick to move and press Z to fire plenty underwear. Gross. I, th I think it's kind of funny that this was like a, a failed transformation from the first game. And you could also use a cheat code to change your banjo into one as well in the first game. Now, um, it's not as... This this transformation isn't as well protected as, say, the armored van from uh, Twitchy World. So if you try to run into enemies, you will get hurt. Which is... Um, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Now, the first thing I want to show you is... Remember in the electromagnet chamber, there was a giant switch? Now, um, the washer is heavy enough to weigh it down, however, we have a bit of a problem. If you try to push the switch normally, a huge mag magnet pulls you away. Now, notice how there's a mumble pad up there. That's your, cl that's your hint for this area. So I'll have to come back. What we can do for the time being, though, is we can start cleaning those rabbit workers' clothes. First one is over here. A washing machine! Can you give my overalls a quick spin? Put them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. <laughs> we haven't got all day. It's pretty blunt to the point there, Kazooie. Ta-da! That's better. Try and find my five skivvy workmates. Their overalls will probably need a quick rinse, too. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Let's head outside. The washer should be able to get through the muck without getting damaged. So let's clean this worker's clothes, too, before we forget about it. Huh. There you go! Four more to go. Okay, so what we'll do next is head for the service elevator, because when you're transformed into the washing machine, you have access to it. Service elevator is... over here. Now, there are two workers on the first floor, but one of them we can't reach yet. 
there's that guy over there, because we're going to have to find a way to dislodge that platform first. We can help out the one in the workers' quarters, though. Okay, halfway done. Let's get out of here. We'll use this as an opportunity to check out the other floors as well. Eat underwear. So as you can see, hitting enemies like this is a little bit difficult. I have a jump as a washer. Ow! I got attacked by a wa- <laughs> The washer got attacked by a washer. Funny. Access granted. I enter. So these doors are only access accessible while you're a washing machine. Killed by underwear. Anyway, there's here's another rabbit worker in here. Two more to go. Anything else in here? Nope, that's it. So we're done. At least in this room. I don't think we can do anything else on this floor at the moment as a washing machine. So let's head up to the next floor. Oh, there, now there's something important we have to do. We have to hit that flight pad switch. Let's be quick. So hitting that makes flight pads appear outside of Grunty, outside of Grunty Industries. Well, outside of the factory, I should say. Washing machine in room. I can't speak today. This is a room for the washing machine only, but there's nothing we can do here just yet. We have to do something here as Banjo and Kazooie first. And I think that's it for this floor. So let's explore the fifth, fifth as well, and then we'll change back into Banjo and Kazooie.
Right there we have a Jinja, but we can't reach it because we have such limited jumping height. But there is another worker to clean his, uh, clean his clothes. With that, there's only one more left, and that's the one on the first floor. We've got just one more skivvy workmate whose overalls will need washing. We know where he is, we just can't get to him yet. Okay, time to transform back. Oh, and also, while the washing machine can use the the, the service ele elevator, it can't use the warp pads at all, so just keep that in mind. Trust me, though, we're not done with the washing machine yet. He'll be back. Alrighty, let's warp back down to the first floor and then check out that flight pad outside. That's how we get this Cheeto page. platform together. And what we're going to do here is use the build drill on them. Hmm, suspicious. Now if we unscrew all four of the bolts here, it should loosen up that platform. And it'll give us access to the rabbit down below. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Ta da! So, when we decide to change back into the washing machine, we'll have access to that last rabbit. Doesn't look like it. There's access to the third and fourth floor. The floor, I should say. Before we head there, let's fly up top.
So right now we're on the fifth floor. Ah, another floor pl uh, plate to unscrew in here. Just land right on it. There we go. So there's a jump pad that'll give us access to the fifth floor. This is where the service elevator is. Good, I needed some more grenade eggs. Ow. I don't think we can do anything else up in here at the moment. I don't know if there's a window I can break. Hold on. I don't know if there's a window I can break on that side to get to that jiggy there. I may have to... That be, may be another jiggy that I need to get Kazooie to learn the glide ability first. So it may be one that's not accessible at the moment. Jinjo family is complete. I'd like you to have this. Mm, I'm stuck here now. Oh well, here's another uh, plate thing to unscrew. So let's do that. So this one's gonna shake loose the mumbo pad in the electromagnet chamber. Good. So now mumbo can work his magic on it. I didn't actually want to come here just yet, so I need to find the nearest warp pad. Because I do want to explore this place just, you know, not yet. Owie. Here's Mumbo's place. Okay, good. I think there's also a warp pad on top of the building. I just didn't find it yet. So I think if 
we fly on top of this smokestack here, we may find something. Aha, yes. Another empty honeycomb piece. There's the warp pad. Now if we ever need to get to the roof quickly, we don't have to just fly there. Any other windows I can smash. There's that one. Yeah, only that one. So, we'll have to wait to get that other JD, I think. Because I think this will just give us access to that Jinjo we couldn't get to earlier on the fifth floor. There's a camera around here somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh well, let's just make this quick. Three more members of the Black Jinjo family to go. Ow! That wasn't very clever. Alright, I think that's everything we can do here. So I think now we can go ahead and go towards the, the third floor. Actually, we can probably just fly there, because there is a fire escape down below. but I want to explore it as if I had just came from the floor below. That was close. Now we've already saved all the yellow gingos, so you're definitely a fake. Just got, just made it there. And I believe that should be the rest of the notes of this world. It's just out of reach there. Isn't there a box I can destroy around here? Ah, yes. Just need to get there first. <laughs> That's a nice label for that box. Old rubbish. I have a feeling Kazooie may have to do this by herself. Oh, nope. They can just reach it. Yay, so that's all of the uh, 
honeycomb pieces of this place. Hello, Globo. Let's split the pair up. There's a battery up here that we need to catch again. Oh, maybe not. Is he over here? Ah, there he is. Gotcha. So we got a tiny bit of a trek to take with this battery. I think normally we're supposed to use that bar up there to climb across. But using the double jump, jump trick, then we don't have to. It's quicker this way. Here's where we use the next battery. <laughs> Access granted to the packing room. Well, let's get Kazooie over here. Using her leg spring, we should be able to get her up there pretty easily. Oh yeah, that was a cinch. This is a mini game area. Twinkly Packing Challenge has been located. Game rules are available if required. Nah, I'm good. Basically, a bunch of red, green, and blue Twinklies are going to appear. We collect them and we hit, take them to their designated color spots, and you get points for them. You should know the drill mode now. Blue are worth three, green are worth two, and red are worth one. Now, the more Twinklies you pick up, the heavier you get, and the slower you move. So, you should, uh, deposit them if you start moving really slow. Alright, let's do this. First thing we're gonna do, grab those running shoes. Yeah, I'm here, Twinklies. Alright, 
it. We did it. You only need 40 points to pass this mini game. Packing requirements have been met. A bonus will now be awarded. Yay! Now I don't want to play again. 